Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in and today I'm going to have a look at one of the new range of binoculars from Celestron and it's the Ultimate Pura series that are available in 32, 42 and 50mm variants and this is the 8x32 option and as with all our videos if, if looking at this quick movie makes you think yes these are the ones for you but by all means you can support our channel by clicking on the link below and purchasing there so anyway, back onto these. I mentioned these are 8x32 and first thing I noticed when I took them out of the box how compact they are. Look at that for the, just the, the length of, of the binoculars. So they're most certainly not going to be front heavy and they're only 520 grams. And another thing I noticed, I thought, well, hang on, where, where's the focuser? It looked, looked like there was fixed focus, but they're not. Yeah, because most binoculars now, they have your, your focus wheel here on the centre bar but with these, it's just like the, the vintage binoculars of, of yesteryear and maybe some other new ones nowadays. It has a smaller focuser near the eyepieces. And a problem you get with some uh, purpose and binoculars, they're, they're not exactly what you call a silky smooth focuser, focus wheel, but not the case with these. these that is a joy to move up and down. And quickly on to the... Uh, right eye diopter adjustment. Some binoculars have a, a little lever here similar to what you get on some zoom binoculars where you can adjust the diopter but with these you just turn the eyepiece itself and maybe that, that helps keep the cost down keeping it a nice simple design and really when you think about it there's um, less moving parts, there's less that can go wrong. So th these are nitrogen gas filled fully multi-coated and BAK4 prisms nice oversized prisms, that, that, that's the advantage you get with uh, Purvism binoculars they do let a lot of light in uh, like for like and uh, and given that these are retail at the moment about £129 I, I tested them and they're well up with the uh, uh, roof prism binoculars in the £200 range so so if it's so if you're not bothered about this design optically these are stunning which I will come on to shortly and also with the and and also um, with the pure prism design being a wider IP uh, objective lens is further apart than than your roof prisms. It, it means that the you're looking from farther each eyepiece from f f uh, farther apart, and so you get that enhanced three-dimensional effect. Um, Handling-wise, as I mentioned, very easy with the focuser. Uh, when I saw the images, I thought the rubber eye cups maybe looked a bit stiff, but they are not at all. They fold down very easily, and uh, they're also very, very comfortable uh, when, when using them. In fact, probably the most comfortable fold-down eye cups I've, I've ever used, and I'll stick my neck out and say that. Um, they fold down for spectacle wearers, about 15mm eye relief, so there's just enough there eye relief for spectacle wearers. But by all means, try a set before you buy if you get the chance. So looking through them, you're greeted with a 142 meters at a thousand 8.1 picture window wide field of view, and very impressive it is. And um, I would say it's only really the outer 15 percent or so when there's a noticeable drop off in quality, but you, you'll hardly notice that. And there is a nice uh, sweet spot in the center, 50 60 percent, where there is virtually no chromatic aberration, just a little bit. Of a purple colour fringe when you look up at branches um, when they're heavily backlit but very very minimal for a non-ED glass uh, set of binoculars it does very little chromatic aberration and you'll only notice it on uh, high contrast subjects and most of the time you'll not notice it at all um, very little uh, just a little bit of a pin cushion distortion as you go towards the edges but again well within intolerances and uh, overall brightness and contrast for a 32mm given the the size is, is very good. An advantage you get with the Pura prisms is in order from the light to get from A to B it has to bounce around this prism four times. With a, a roof prism it's bouncing around five times and so it's going through more glass so you, you in theory lose a little bit more light and you gain a little bit more light with this simple design which which is why astronomers like to go for this design of binocular and these will be excellent for wide field astronomy by the way so 
that's the binocular themselves. Let's just have a look. Um, you get the standard Celestron padded neck strap there. For the objective lenses, you get these stay on drop down covers. And for the eyepieces, um, one of my slight gripes, you get these uh, single um, eyepiece covers for, it, for each one. And uh, the disadvantage of that I find is that with, with the, an all in one, you know, where they're connected in the middle, you can put the strap through them and so you're not having to put these in your pocket. And lastly the case, a uh, standard uh, Celestron nylon one here, but, but very nice quality. This one seems, um, there's, there's plenty of room in there for the binoculars and, and the strap, and so maybe they use this case for the 42mm models as well. And one final gripe I have with them, but again this is very minor, and you'll probably look through them and think, what's he on about? I can't see that. They're just a little bit of internal reflection on the edge of view, but um, on, on, the, on the internal side of the, um, the, the, the binocular body. But that, but that you'll, with practice, as you learn how close or, or far away from the eyepiece you put your eyes, that will disappear. So you'll, you'll soon get used to that. So that's the Celestron Ultima Pura 8x32 binoculars. Very lightweight, very compact for a Pura Prism set. E very easy to handle, very difficult to find a fault with them other than those slight gripes that I found. So there you go, thank you very much for watching as always. And please check out the link in the description below.